my friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I am gonna be recreating three iconic maternity photos and also doing my own original maternity shoot at the end of the video. In the past, I've done videos like this where I recreated celebrity photos, magazine covers, couples photos, and it is always such a blast. It's so collaborative and empowering and it just brings me a lot of joy. So I really wanted to do a special edition maternity one and a lot of you guys have been requesting it too. But because of the pandemic, this video is gonna be a little bit different than the past ones. First of all, we are taking all these photos in my garage, whereas with the past ones, we rented out like a big professional studio. We've got a much smaller crew here. We have Tony, the amazing photographer, Jess, my fabulous producer, and my wonderful husband, Steven, who is gonna be lending a hand wherever needed and then also taking some photos with me at the end. We all got tested before too, and we're gonna be wearing masks, keeping distance, making sure that we're being as safe as possible. So let's get started. Let's take some maternity photos. Wait, actually, one more thing. I always forget to do this, but hey, if you're new to my channel or if you've been here before and just aren't subscribed, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button, join our family. I always forget to ask people to subscribe. So hey, subscribe, I appreciate it. Okay, now maternity photo time. <laughs> So if you're talking about iconic maternity photos, you truly cannot do it without talking about Demi Moore's iconic 1991 stripped down Vanity Fair cover. Truly iconic, the definition of iconic, just stunning. So I wanted to find a way to recreate this photo, but we have to do it in a way that won't get it taken down by YouTube because obviously there's a lot of skin showing in this photo and there's no shame in that. Nudity is beautiful, but for YouTube purposes, we just have to make sure I'm a little bit more covered. So I have on a nude strapless bra and nude underwear so we can still get the same vibe in a way that YouTube will allow. And also in a way that I personally feel comfortable showing my body on the internet, that is equally as important. being pregnant and doing a big shoot like this, I'm trying to make sure that I'm like proactive about making sure that I'm not on my feet too much and that I'm comfortable. So as I'm posing and practicing for this pose, we've got the Crocs. Iconic. I don't look like that strong, confident look that she has in the photo. Yes, no, I definitely, I can definitely agree with that. So again, let's, um, so let's pop the booty. Pop the booty. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. And again, place your hand right there. Raise, raise the shoulder a little bit right there. With those adjustments, this position becomes a lot less comfortable. <laughs> underwear and the nude bra aren't like distracting. Like I'm looking at the side by side. I don't yeah. think it's taking away from the shot, which was what I was worried about. Absolutely, but honestly, I mean, it blends so seamlessly with this. Yeah. I'm, I'm not worried about it at all. It looks great. Both of them look great. Yeah. yeah cool, all right, let's Sweet. do another round. Let's do it, let's do yeah. it, awesome. We're de-sweating before the <laughs> shot. <laughs> Okay, so I think we got pretty darn close. I think we got it. Wait, wait, will you go back through these ones? Absolutely, yeah. So I think it was I think it was the turning of the head a little bit more to be a little bit more square. That's a huge difference. Big, big difference. Yeah, honestly, I mean I think we have it. I How think do you we feel? got it. Yeah. I, I I feel good. First one, man. We're doing Air high five. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yay! So let's reveal my first photo. Here is my recreation of Demi Moore's Vanity Fair cover. Tony even mocked up my photo so that it looks like a magazine cover too. I really love this photo. The, the pose and the concept and that like soft smile were really, really fun to try. And I feel like it really captures that balance of like the raw stripped down pregnant body, but still like elevated and glamorous and like Hollywood. It's also a photo that just makes 
me personally feel very connected to my body in pregnancy. I've gone through a lot of changes in the past nine months, and this photo just makes me feel very in touch with my changed body. Just embracing it as it is, showing it as it is in a way that still makes me feel comfortable and, and really beautiful. I love it. I'm so glad we did this one. Also, I just want to say this in the video to prevent some comments about it. I googled multiple interview clips of Demi Moore saying her own name because I had seen people say Demi Moore and people say Demi Moore. Confirmed, she says Demi Moore. So it's Demi Moore as far as I could tell from my Googling. Okay, now into the next photo. The second photo we are recreating is this absolutely beautiful maternity shot of model Gigi Hadid from 2020. This photo has over 8 million likes on Instagram and I totally see why. It's so like ethereal. She looks like an angel. I love the silhouette with the sheer dress. And when I was thinking of recreating this photo in this video, I knew the hardest part was gonna be finding a dress like this. But luckily, I have an amazing friend here on YouTube. Her name is April. Her channel is Coolerpa, and she makes sewing videos. And she had been wanting to make a recreation of this dress for her channel. So we made it a collab. She made it custom fit for me, which is just so freaking cool. The video of her making this dress is live on her channel now. There's a link in the description. Please check it out, send her some love. So we have literally the perfect dress with these beautiful flowy sleeves and all. I've got some nude undies underneath. Tony and Jess set up the lighting while I went and straightened my hair. So we are ready to take this photo. Let's do it. So at first we thought we were gonna use a fan to get that like blown up dress look, but when we were testing it out just now, it didn't work all that well. But what we figured out did work is if I hold the dress and then drop it and kind of do that dainty angelic thing with my hands like she does as I drop it, it kind of works perfectly. So I'm thinking that's probably how she took the photo. Lean a little forward, you know? Oh. Yeah, exactly. It, like, it's like you're kind of like dropping in like, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually shocked at how well dropping the dress works. It works out so well. Yeah. yeah, we don't need a fan at all. I think it's actually what they did. So I need to flick, almost flick the wrist more when I drop it, because she truly is like, her hands are modeling. Exactly. Like she looks like a hand model, and I look like, really. <laughs> <laughs> Relax that elbow, shoulder up, chin down. There you go, there you go. Nice and dainty, nice and ethereal. Three, two, one. With the way the, the arms are falling. Right too, I mean, it really, really works out. The silhouette's really nice too. Like, it's nice and dainty, but yeah. together, it just, I think it works out really, really well. I think Feel good? It. Yeah. 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 Awesome. All right. On to the next one. Yes. Okay, so this photo, I'm not like as high on it as I was with the first one, but let's take a look. Here is my recreation of Gigi Hadid's beautiful ethereal Instagram maternity photo. I feel like the dress looks amazing. The lighting, the photography, amazing. Tony and Jess and April, they killed it. And I love the silhouette with my bump. All of that is, is stunning. I love it. But I think this is where you see the difference between someone who models for a living and someone who just makes videos on the internet. I'm technically recreating the pose, but I'm missing a lot of those subtle details that make Gigi's original photo so graceful. My hands look a little limp. My face looks a little dead. I, I kind of look like a zombie with my hands out like that. Like it's almost there, but it's, it's just not quite it. That being said though, I do still like this photo a lot. I am shocked that we were able to get the dress to fall so perfectly like this. And I do think it captures a really beautiful look at my body in pregnancy with the side profile and the silhouette and the sheer dress. I know I'm gonna be thrilled to have such a cool maternity shot looking back on my pregnancy, but I'm just not a model. <laughs> All right, so for our third photo recreation, I actually took a shower between two and three. I reset my hair, so we are ready to go. We are gonna be recreating this absolutely iconic maternity image of Queen Bee herself, 
Beyonce. I have like a clear memory in my head of seeing this photo in 2017 when Beyonce and Jay-Z posted it announcing that they were having twins. And she just looks like an absolute goddess. I mean, she's Beyonce, she always does. But this photo in particular, it just, it, it looks like art. Like this belongs in a museum, not even being dramatic. And I can't believe I am about to attempt this photo myself. Honestly, it's a little bit intimidating. I am gonna need to channel all of my inner confidence to pull this one off. So let's do it. All right, so I have on these nude swimsuit bottoms and then this lacy airy bra. The bra is surprisingly similar to the one in the Beyonce photo. And then for the bottoms, we also got this, it's actually, uh, I think it's a curtain. <laughs> and we were gonna use this to kind of wrap around my swimsuit bottoms to give that draped fabric effect that Beyonce had in her photo. And then for my throne here, the base of this is actually from Walmart. And then Jess DIY'd this to match the one in the Beyonce photo. She painted it. She did the flowers, the draped fabric. Jess, I am constantly in awe at your creativity. This is so good. <laughs> Thank you. It's time for the reveal. Here is my recreation of Beyonce's beautiful, colorful pregnancy announcement photo. I think this one is definitely the closest recreation that we got from the lounge chair that Jess made to the fabric and the flowers and the pose, just everything. It's, it's a pretty spot on recreation. Beyonce is a little bit higher up on the chair than I am. And she has a deeper curve in her hip and her waist in the pose. But as a plus size girl, my body is, it's just gonna look different than hers, even if we're in almost the exact same pose. And that's okay, both are beautiful. And that's one of the things that I really, really love about doing these celebrity recreation videos. You won't see a lot of bodies that look like mine in amazing high-end photo shoots like this, in magazines, on covers, but the average American woman is a size 16. And so her body probably looks more similar to mine than to Gigi Hadid's or Demi Moore's or Beyonce's. So I get to show what a body like that looks like in these glamorous photo shoots and poses. But it's not to say that the originals aren't beautiful. They are, they are stunning. All three of these original photos I think are beautiful. That's why I picked them. And it's also beautiful on a plus size body too. Both are beautiful and taking these photos definitely made me feel beautiful. So this is where the video would usually end. But like I said, today is a special edition. I love these photos, I love these recreations, but I don't want all of my maternity photos to be recreations of someone else's art and someone else's creativity. I wanna have my own original iconic maternity photo. So over the last few months, as we were prepping for this video, me and Tony and Jess brainstormed quite a few different ideas and creative concepts for backdrops and poses. And in the end, we, decided to keep things pretty natural, pretty true to me, but with a touch of that elegance and that maternity glam that these iconic photos all had. 
So I've recreated three iconic maternity photos from three iconic women. And now it is time for me to take a swing at it myself. Try my own original maternity photo concept. We have no poses planned. We have nothing we're recreating. I just want to keep it really natural. We're going to start off with some of just me and then we're going to add Steven in for some couples ones as well. It'll be just me, my baby, my husband, and a really pretty dress. <laughs> and Tony taking the photos, of course, and Jess filming it all go down. Also, can we talk about how amazing this, hold on, background is here? Let's take a look at this because we had all planned the concept for this backdrop together just through like the video prep calls that we did before shooting this video. But I don't think any of us knew how it was actually gonna come together. And I think, I think it looks really cool. are my maternity photos. I absolutely love them. I am so happy with how they came out. So we have some of just me, some of me and Steven, and then somehow we managed to get one with both dogs looking at the camera. I feel like, I, I was gonna say, I feel like this is exactly what I dreamed of, of my maternity photos, but honestly, this is better that I dreamed of. It's, it, it feels like me, it feels real, but it's still kind of glamorous and elegant with the sheer dress and the natural colors and the pompous grass. Also, I feel like using the fan in those solo photos of me really added some cool movement to my hair and my dress. It felt very like America's Next Top Model. Like I really, I just felt so good taking those photos and I, I love looking at them. I'm so happy to have these to look back on. And I especially love the the photos of Steven and I. He is just so sweet and I love him so much. And I know I am gonna cherish these photos forever. I'm so, so glad that I did this. So that is it. That's the video. My recreating celebrity photos and my own original maternity shoe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have two more coming up before my maternity leave starts. So be confident, be kind to your body, and I'll see you next time. Bye.